Sometimes you would like an animation to occur simply on its own, or as soon as the prototype starts, with a timer triggering that. Sometimes you want multiple things to happen over time, all purely time-based, without any tap triggers or anything of the like. We're going to rebuild the comments experience of Facebook Live to explore how to do this. Make sure you download the lesson files that come with this tutorial if you want to follow along with the same material. Alright, so if you start with the lesson files, you'll see that we've already set up our comments position Y to an option picker and option switch. If you haven't checked out the lessons on multiple states, you might not know what this means, but that's totally fine. For now though, let's just pulse through each of these inputs to see what we've set up here as Y positions on our comments. So tapping on one will bring up our first position, two our second, and so on. That first position is our starting position. How can we automatically have our prototype go to this position, our first position, after a set time? Origami has a patch for this called when prototype starts. So let's insert one to our patch editor by double tapping on the patch editor, typing when prototype starts, and then return when we find that. Let's then connect this to our set to one input on our option switch. Our prototype has already started, so we won't see the effect of this until we restart the prototype. We can do that by using the button on the toolbar of the viewer. Keep an eye on the pulses happening in the patch editor as we do this. We're instantly going to option one. What we actually want is for that option to kick in once the prototype starts, but for it to hold off a little bit before, to give it a little bit of breathing room. We want the prototype to wait a second. Let's insert a wait patch between the when prototype starts and the option switch. Let's double tap in the patch editor, type wait and then return, and then connect the when prototype starts output to the start input on wait and the output of wait to that set to one input. All right, so if you reset our prototype now and keep an eye on these first two patches, You'll see that our signal is sent and then after one second that signal is carried on to the option switch and so on. So there are a few ways to automatically advance to the next switches too, but for the sake of simplicity we're going to add more weight patches as our solution and then connect these corresponding inputs to the option switch. Let's add more weight patches by double tapping in the patch editor and typing in weight or simply using the keyboard shortcut command return and typing wait, and then press return. Like the first wait patch, let's have the output of the when prototype starts go into the start input. But now let's have the output of this wait patch go to the next option switch input, which is set to two. I'm going to give the second wait patch a duration of three seconds. That means that the three seconds is counting from when the prototype starts not three seconds from when the first wait patch is triggered. So the first wait patch triggers, and then after three seconds of the when prototype starts, the next one triggers. If we wanted to have the duration be from after the first wait though, we can replace the connection with the one from the first wait patch, like so. That's totally valid. But for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to keep all my timing to be connected to when the prototype starts. Let's add more wait patches, enough to cover each option. We can add new patches like normal, or by option click and dragging an existing one. That'll create a new wait patch with the same input connection. Super handy. Let's do three more of these so we have five wait patches all up. And then once we've done this, Let's change the durations of each so that they all come at a different time. So the second one, sorry, third one, let's make something like six seconds. The second last will make uh, eight seconds. And then the last will make 11 seconds. Lastly, let's connect their outputs to the remaining inputs on the option switch, like so. All right, so let's give that a whirl. So like before, hit the restart prototype button and keep an eye on the wait patches as the seconds go by. 
Remember, all of these durations happen from when the prototype starts. Perfect. Play around with these durations to get a little closer to how they work. Also, if you want to get used to using video layers, this is the perfect prototype to try. Going back to delays and timed animations though, check out some of the example prototypes that we have alongside this tutorial.